Just experienced perhaps the most awkward encounter in my dating history. I've been on four dates with this guy within the last three months. Typically, he's been traveling, so haven't been able to see each other. Context, we also didn't really chit-chat between those uh, those dates. The spread up, uh, Those spread up... <sighs> Can we start writing these <laughs> like in a normal... <laughs> Let me start again. I've been on... A, 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 <laughs> Just experienced perhaps the most awkward encounter of my dating history. I've been on four dates with this guy within the last three months. Typically, he's been traveling, so hasn't uh, so haven't been able to see each other. Context: We also didn't really chit chat between those the spread apart dates. Okay, tonight after not seeing each other for uh, for a month, I had dinner with my date at a moderately priced restaurant. When the bill comes. I do the fake pump, and then he pays the bill. Two entrees, two cocktails, nothing extravagant. Since it was early in the night, he asked uh, what we wanted to do next, insinuating he wants to go to mine and boink. So I say I can't do that tonight, but would be happy to spend more time together and get another drink or coffee or dessert. He then says he doesn't want anything, so I said I guess the night is over then since I have to get up early and we should make plans for another day. Sounds like a weird ending to this date. Like I, uh, I guess it's over then. Like I, I, it sounds like two people that don't really like each other that much. Yeah, or it sounds like they have different intentions. This is when this man's eyes well up and face contorts. So I'm like, "Are you okay?" And he said he wanted to be honest, and and he's offended. He wanted to be honest, and he's offended I didn't pay, and he's upset because he really likes me, and this isn't how a relationship should work. Instead of causing any, I mean, this is crazy. Instead of causing any scene, I asked him to walk outside with me. He only said he was upset when I said I wasn't going to let him sleep over tonight. And then he brings up the bill only after that was really alarming. He goes on the defense and said he wishes I thought higher of him. And that's not what he meant. Oh, he's he's manipulative. Yeah, he said he's paid for the last four dates. Oh, he's keeping score. I've paid for mine at least one time, and I have always fake pumped or or offered, and he's not made of gold. I told him he should have asked if we could split, and I'm sorry. He said a gentleman would never ask for a woman to pay, so now I'm at a loss. He walks me to my apartment. Well, a gentleman also doesn't go outside of a bar and cry, so what is that? Yeah, a gentleman doesn't also like get, get upset with someone when they don't pay to let them know that they're not being like, this He's is trying crazy. To manipulate her into feeling bad for him. So she'll fuck him. I truly That's don't think I've done anything wrong and no one has ever been upset by the fake pump. I think her even calling it the fake, pump. she's got to stop calling it the fake pump. I understand that is the, the joke and what people do, but like you would have paid if he had asked. That's the reality. If he said, let's split it. You felt good about him paying for the bill and that's okay too but like also to be fair this has nothing to do about the payment this is him and manipulating her emotionally totally trying to get fucked it's not about pain my defense is that we haven't seen each other that many times and the fact that i've paid in the past makes this whole situation pretty confusing anyways what let me, let me what you both think about this mess but also if men should always pay for dates or if we're good for halvesies if going dutch resets after you've seen someone in a while so she sends the text I, let's I, take yeah. a look i'll and be I'll read, him you I, Okay, who I'm do you going to be? be him because he sounds like he's kind of like Eastern European or something to me. You be him. Okay. Hey, sorry if anything came across the wrong way. Still had very nice time and hope not the last. Go home safe. That's why I think he's foreign because he didn't say get home safe. He said go home safe. Go home. It's a weird way. Go home right. safe. <laughs> yeah. Go safe home, you. Um, last thing, look, I feel if we are going to make things right, could we share tonight? She writes back, What? Would that be okay to get on nice ground? I think I'm okay for tonight. Question mark? Oh, sorry if you misunderstood. I'm just asking because it's the fourth date. Can we divide the bill? Sure. What's your Venmo if that would make you happy? My Venmo is please fuck me at Venmo.com. <laughs> so we'll okay, blur it out, that, but that he, he, gives his, he gives his Venmo. Um, and then he responds to her, sure, what's your Venmo if you would make that happy? If that's what would make you happy, he responds to that. Oh, we! Oh my God, I didn't even see this part. <gasps> yeah, he sent so, his Venmo. So he sent his Venmo, and then he, he responds to her. Sure, what's your Venmo? If that would make you happy, he responds to that. Don't take it like that, Olivia. Unhappy face. Thank you. Considering I don't know how much it upsets you, just so you know, I would still very much like to go on fit with you. 
I'll let you text me and we will do something if so in Manhattan. Yeah, this is bad. What do you think? I mean, I I think he's a the, fucking psycho. She should block him and not talk to him again. It's it's the the I mean, the way they both talk about it. I'm not I'm not going to put this on her. He's an asshole. The idea that he's dangling dates that he had to pay the the idea that he's going, I'll pay for the date want to go back to your place and then you're like no and he goes well let's talk about how much this date costs that is a horrible course of events that is grounds enough to show you what he's after how he's relating money to what he deserves in some aspect so you want to get far away i will say they're both doing a four dates in three months and he's like i'd like to go on a fifth date and then when he when she writes i could do des-, like when he, when he offers Let's go to your place. And she's like, no, but I will do another drink or dessert or coffee. It's like you two are just not happening. They're not compatible. No. Um, she did nothing wrong. Now, there is a separate conversation outside of the situation where you could talk about how do men and women divide money on dates. That's a separate conversation. Inappropriate the timing that he brought it up. And I don't think context wise belongs in their situation i think he used that as his last sort of hoorah to try and get fucked and try to emotionally manipulate her however Mm -hmm. he doesn't seem very smart and she should not have paid him i mean she was doing it for the for the principle of the matter but um he sounds like a huge piece of shit here's the other thing Here's the big, to me, agreed on everything you said. A very problematic thing in this to me, and what says a lot about the the ego and the, and the confidence of this guy is, look, I feel like if we're going to make things right, could we share tonight to get back on nice grounds? Like, the idea that him paying for a date where he didn't have sex at the end and then he needs to get back on nice grounds. That is a bad sign for how this person is is really like stuck in their own pride moment where if they don't, they got to get something out of something. And it's like, that is, let that, but let someone else deal with that. Don't forget to like the video you just watched. I have many more. Subscribe to the channel right now. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, you fool. There's even a bell you can click to. Now you've got your week set Monday through Friday. I'm here for you.